What's up everybody? This is Les El Blatino. As you can see, I am not in my studio. I tried to film my blog in the studio last night and it was a disaster. It did not happen. I have to do it today. My studio is in a storage facility and next to me, there was a band rehearsing the whole time I was there and there was no way that I could do an interview and get good audio. This is what it sounded like. Yeah, crazy. There's no way I could have gotten good sound. So I'm doing it out here. It's a beautiful day anyways. It's a beautiful day outside. I'm glad to be outside in the beautiful sun with the beautiful trees and the beautiful air and the flies that are starting to bite me. And that is not so cool and I do not like it too much. This is going on way too long. So I'm gonna cut it right now. So today I want to talk real quick about the motel miniature that I'm working with and some of the things that I'm starting to learn. First thing I'm going to say is I love it. I love it. I got these models from a company called TT Combat. I believe they are based in the UK and I bought these motels off of Amazon, but I went to their website and they have so much stuff. You should go to their website and check out their miniatures. They have so much cool stuff, sci-fi, Western, cityscapes. I mean, they have tons of stuff. So I will be buying from them directly because you can't find all their stuff on Amazon. Oh, and also they're pretty simple to build. With the motel section, I needed to duplicate it in order to make it a large motel. The first time I shot the motel section, I thought I was doing it correctly, but it did not work. I had an idea of what I wanted the shot to look like. And I thought if I filmed the motel from a variety of angles, I could put it together just fine in post. But while I noticed that the roof, the roof, the roof was not on fire, it looked pretty jacked up. It did not look good. It wasn't lining up right and it just, it didn't look too good. So I reshot it. I was very methodical with the placement of the motel sections. You literally have to place the model how it should be in the shot, how they actually live in the space. You can't just willy nilly just shoot different angles of it and then put it together. You have to do it with a little bit more care than that and shoot one part of the model, align it and then move that same model right next to where it was, line it up as accurately as you can, and that's the way to do this shot. And then once you go in post, they come together beautifully, beautifully and perfectly the way they're supposed to. I wanted to establish this scene with a nice big high angle shot. And you use the same process of lining up the shots methodically and then in post, you put it together. And this is what it looks like. I didn't film myself driving the car for this shot yet. So the car is moving, but there's no person in it. It's moving by itself. Okay, so here is a rough cut of some of that scene that has the motel models in it. Now, a lot of these backgrounds are temporary. They're not the ones I'm going to use in the film. They will be replaced. I mean, a lot of this is very, very rough. But as I mentioned in a previous video, it's not about the details right now. It's about getting this done and getting an idea of the pacing of the film, how the story is coming together. And if I'm given a decent enough performance or not. <laughs> uh, this is me or this is my character pulling his back. He's a stunt man. And previous to this scene, he just did a stunt where he rolled over a car, where a car hit him and he rolled over the car. So yeah, that's a little sneak peek into this motel miniature scene i hope you enjoyed the video i got tons more videos so check them out i'd like to hear from you leave a comment 
hit the like button or you can hit the unlike button, but I prefer if you hit the like button. Thank you for watching. As always,